Hello everybody! Welcome to another modern video. I am playing Jund Sagavan. This time we do have the Urza Sagas. Last time I've played modern Jund. It was Redux version and it was the famous boomer Jund with uh, no Urza Saga. Today I am instead playing the deck that came second in Dream Actalis, a pretty large event in, um, in America where the second place was Sol Malka, a very, um, a very old school name, in fact, he's the inventor of uh, the old school The Rock, the, the green black deck with the orange Dermot and uh, a recurring nightmare back in the days, over 20 years ago. Uh, he's still playing uh, The Rock, and that is uh, this time around with Jund. Okay, so again, there's two biggest uh, uh, school of thoughts when it comes up with building Jund. Is do you play with Urza Saga or you don't? Because of course Urza Saga is a big burden to your deck, mana base, as it's a colorless land in a deck that oftentimes, as I am today, sees on Pyromancer and so on. But Soul deck actually cut all the double black card. No Leon the Veil, no Season Pyromancer. We play three copies of Tireless Tracker, and that is a lot. I definitely didn't expect to see a modern deck with three copies of Tireless Tracker in a mid-range deck to top the curb to do well. In fact, I would expect Tireless Tracker in, let's say, Amulet Titan as a one of, but not in this deck. So that was uh, that's gonna be exciting at least. There is no Dragon's Ray Channeler bubble package, only Ragavan. Um, you have Ragavan, you have Tarmogov, and you have Tracker. Another card that's in the deck that I am not the biggest fan of is the Sunset's Trophy. This card, of course, kills Merc that region, but giving your opponent a land is huge, 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 huge. And uh, I don't know, I guess in combination with Boseju. You're like two Boseju and Ren, you're like, I don't care if an opponent gets land, I only care about killing their permanents, they will just flood out, and that's fine to me. It's a good point, I guess. We play Xeatora's Proving Ground, as well as three basics. We play two Nihil Spell Bomb. Again, you, if you've seen my videos, if you've been following uh, Modern, the best deck in the format is Living End. And uh, the best way to attack Living End to me is with cards like uh, Flash Storm or uh, just you know Spell Pierce, Counter Spell, and Nihil Spell Bomb do do little in my experience. Simply because, well, mostly they will side in uh, Force of Vigor and uh, the four mana two two that destroys an artifact, but also just they combo twice <laughs> and 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 that's it. They combo twice, three times, four times, and etc. But nonetheless, there's two Nihil Spell in the deck, definitely important in a deck with Urza Saga, you also have the Bomb and the Spear. A couple of K Command, as Hammer Time is also a very important deck in the format. Turak to deal with the Four Color deck, Brutality for Burn, Alpine Moon for the Saga Mirror, remember Alpine Moon only cares about the opponent's saga, not yours. Scavenging Ooze in two copies, it's also interesting. Not a card um, we see much anymore of. Veil of Summer, Ida Zugu, and then the Unlicensed Hearse, and then your companion is Gigant. Uh, we're not playing Land of Veil, we're not playing Season Pyromancer. That's mostly it. Full Minute from Age, I guess, but yeah, Giganta, the Wellspring, is your companion. Let's go. Let's go play some Jund. People love whenever I play Jund, always <laughs> a very beloved deck. Oh, prepare for a league. Weird. <laughs> 24 lands, considering that three of them are Saga, two of them are Boseju, that leaves us with not the best mana base in the world. There is definitely going to be very many games where we get mana screwed, but this is the problem that you accept when playing this deck. Because definitely the power of red and six makes you be like, oh, okay, I can some games get mana screw, but some other games red and six will just fix all my problems. Alright, let's go. On the play. With Giganta. Per yeah? 
Now this mountain is a little bit awkward, of course, as as we have a uh, black green land, but that's okay. That's why that's why there's fetch lands in this format. Qualifiers for what shade BTW? I'm gonna go Inquisition of Kozilek on turn one. Overgrown Tomb, of course. All right. First match is Tron. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, I think I'm taking the Relic. As I need uh, to... <laughs> Classic first match of John Tron. Alright, that's Urza's Power Plant into Chromatic Star. I have to go Thoughtseize to take the Sylvan's Grind here. I can't let them go Tron. Of course, they will most likely get Tron regardless and I'll lose to this Vernacle Engine. Or I can just toss is that as well, but I think right now I'd rather make so that they can't get drawn. Okay, hope they just cracked for no reasons. Yes, they did. Good. Land, please. A little bit awkward of a land, of course, as in I can't go Tarmogoyf plus Thoughtsies. As I told you, the mana base is definitely not the prettiest. I'm gonna go Tracker Go, it's more mana efficient. All right, not roll through tower. That's okay. I think you have to take risks when uh, playing this matchup, and I think that deploying the Tardis Tracker there was worth it. As it is, I of course can never deal with the Verm Coil engine, and I'll concede. You could have gone thoughts to take Verm Coil, but it's more likely that they drew a car and a Verm Coil or whatnot than they drew exactly tower. You know, that's fine. Okay, the this batch is not. It's not good. I guess we do have a very nice expose issue, but uh, you know, it's all right. I can take out the healed spell bomb, fatal push, bring in what track, yeah. I mean, track just as a dude, not as a discard spell. Track also wild. All right, Giganta reveal. Okay. It doesn't have any Discord spell, but whatever, Ragaban. I have to hold the Mulligan to four or something like that. Oh, they kept seven? Ay, ay, ay. How did the red white deck go? You mean the Boris Stoneforge? Went well. I went 4 1. We went 4 1. The video will be on YouTube uh, on Wednesday, so today, as I'm recording this. The regional championship qualifier. Nice. You already have those? Cool. Best of luck then. Yeah, the match was already over. Yeah. Assassin's Creed sure can blow up a land. And position as well. I revealed the power plant. Okay. But both of these give them back a land so it's not that effective I can't just go bold face I don't know we'll see like these will be handy on the, the turn that they go Tron wow they got forest wow second land is a forest crazy do I bold face for real 
I don't really have season pyromancer or anything like that. I think I'm gonna held on bolt. Thoughtseize, that's a good find. I wanna tap first, because if I find like steerings or a Sylvan's crying, I'm gonna get land drop that way. Terrell told you. Alright, what land do I get? I can even get Bozage, but I already have one in hand. Oh, I can get Saga. Huh, actually, I think I like that better. Dai, facciamo or is a Saga? It's very large, the token. I might not even talk this now, huh? Oh, wow, Nature's Claim. Huh. Have I been? Sure, you Nature's Claimed me. Pass, I don't want to play Thoughtsies. I hold on this treasures a little bit more, and of course, an actual I played a land already. Yeah, maybe the saga there wasn't ideal, but that's okay. You want to play Vivian again? No, I've played plenty of that. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can change the list a little bit, but I like to play a hot new deck that is in this case this deck. Okay, so with map they're gonna get to front, but of course we do have Zayju and so on. Oh, Turak, bueno. Hmm. Bueno. Uh, oh, Karn? Karn stops the map. Let's go Karn. I can cast position for one mana, remember. Cost one less. Exile of nothing. Sideboard, I have a uh, bomb explosives hearse. But for now, yeah, I think let's just minus. Let's get uh, hearse. Yeah. And I think I still don't want to do anything here. I'll pass. They can't use map. And if I want, I can position for one mana. I don't think they have natural Tron because they got plate four as second turn. You wonder if Elemental is good enough to jam at big events. Well, I don't know if you're following modern, but that's one of the tier one. Oh wow, they had natural Tron. Must be nice to always draw the tower. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, no reason to possess you anything since they just float mana. They just played a card that isn't a card, another card that isn't a card. And then they have six mana and they pass. All right, then I'll untap. Another thoughts is, I uh, think I want to attack with the spear. Attack for three. It's pretty clear to me that my opponent doesn't have any payoff in end. Not just lay on my spear, haha, <laughs> sure. They have exactly two cards in hand. I think I'm going to... Hmm. Let's see what I hit first. Ancient Steerings. That's kind of free, I think. This is just going to give me a land. Okay, so I could go ahead and Tirak discard all the cards. But then if I put in top decks, I might lose the game. So I think the way I go here is Totsis Baseju. Yeah, so let's go Thoughtsies first. Then if I want, I can play another Thoughtsies. If not, I'll just go Boseju. That way I'll also know exactly what to Stone Rain. So they have Urza's Mine. This means that I can Boseju the whatever Urza's Tower. Gonna get a Overgrown Tomb here. Yes, remember Boseju only cost one because I have a Legend. They got a basic forest, so they have mining end and only four mana. Okay, they played the mine, still one card in end. Okay, uh, once again, let's just attack with Ragavan. Now I want to try to win the game next turn. Can I? Uh, considering that they're basically at way less life because of the line in bold. Chromatic star. Wow. I cast this one. Draw a card. Mm. 
a, what do I want to do? I think I want to cast a, a Tarak here. Dread Cantor. That might have like a Nula Mogginand and draw the missing Troll land. It's another Urza's mind, sure. A, I passed, they're on 10. I did a use card, that's fine. That's five plus six, 11 damage. So we got this game, of course, we were on the play with a turn one Ragavan. Usually when you're turning on the play with turn one Ragavan and your opponent doesn't kill it, uh, you don't really lose, so you shouldn't really count. It, anything I wanna change? Ma. Not really. I mean, they have a billion or not just claim that you're three this game. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's go. Giganta reveal. Molly get unfortunately no lands. That would be good if there was a couple of lands. Perfect. All right, let's keep this hand. I want to draw Bazayu here. I want to draw Bazayu here because I can go right in six Bazayu. Oh, actually, let's do this. I want to draw Ragavan first and then Bazayu. Okay, keep the bottom sphere done. Go. I might get to six this time. Tower map. That's a good start. Oh, oh there it is. Okay, so we drew the Bazaju. So that's the first step. I'm gonna go uh, Blood Crypt. I should have want to bubble them first because that will give me more information about uh, what to discard. So they have a Eugene on top. See if they have any cheap card in hand. They do. All right, but the map opponent will have Tron next turn because they have map, mine, and etc. So unfortunately, I can't. Um, I unfortunately can't do anything. I just have to go Bozeju this turn. Um, yeah. So I'll wait for them to crack the map, get a card, they got power plant, then I can possess you who endures, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think I'm gonna go towards the mine. The replay. Oh, ancient steerings. Okay, let's see what they get. Let's see if they find the mine. Of course, Bazeju fixes their mana as well, which isn't ideal, but can't do much else. They got Chromatic Star. Good. And they got Plant. Hmm, their hand is Karn the Great Creator, which I need to destroy. Sorry, to discard. They have four cards. Mm. Okay, Swamp. Interesting. I think I need to go right in six Thoughtsies at this turn. Because next turn I want to cast Bazeju. Yep. So let's go uh, Thoughtsies. Discarding card most likely. Mm-hmm, but they have Nitrous Claim and two very expensive card. So this this is the turn where we have to dodge. If we dodge them top decking a Urza's Mine, I think we untap and win. Because they start Bozejuing uh, their lands. So this is the turn where we have to dodge. Their hand is Nitrous Claim, which does nothing, and two eight and ten drops. All right, they drew map, 
which gives them Tron, but not uh, in the turn that they needed. So they get mine here, but they just don't rain mine. Opponent will be, unless I draw exactly a forest, opponent will once again be in the spot where they can top deck a mine. Although now they have only two and 46 cards. All right, that's not great. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, bazage you the, the mine. Uh, I think I want to just get, do you want to get the, the Verdant Catacomb or the Bozasio and play top land? I think I want to just do the Bozasio and top land. So the next turn, I can go double Bozasio. I don't play Tarmogoyf, but I think it's whatever, honestly. If I just cast Eugene or Ulamog, I lose. It's not that. Okay, I have to dodge. What's that? Three Oblivion Stone. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That is okay. Um, yeah, now I'm just going ham on their lands here. I'll go Bozeju, blow up the tower, plus get back Bozeju, and then I go Bozeju, blow up the plant. And now my opponent will be on four forests, meaning that if they draw land, oh, they only play three forests? All right, then uh, I think from now on we're good to win. Usually I play four forests. Uh, remember, position blows up only non-basic, so... Alright, I can see it. GG, we beat Tron. Alright, yeah, next turn we could blow up the Oblivion Stone, and so on and so forth. Alright, congrats uh, to uh, Ren and Six Bazeju, which achieves the win. Cool, cool, cool. Ponza, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I kept the, I kept the hand without Bazeju. We had to draw it, but I guess glad I did. I don't know. I think that uh, anything that makes Tron a worse deck uh, benefits the, the, the modern format. If if a new card makes so that uh, Jund uh, is more playable and Tron is less playable, that just makes everyone happy. Uh, Surprise, you play Velo Summer in my sideboard. Well, I don't know if you saw me or, or know me, but I only net deck usually whenever I play these videos. And uh, this deck came second in a Dream Arc. The biggest surprise is definitely not the Veil of Summer, it's the three title striker in the main. The Veil of Summer is, is a good card. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see Veil of Summer in a sideboard. So with the BNR announcement, how do I feel about it? Oh yeah, they banned the cards in formats that I don't really play. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like expressive iteration is going to eventually be banned in every single format of Magic. I guess they started. I think it was about time, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's gonna continue to be banned in different formats slowly, but I don't know whenever it'll hit modern. Maybe it still will take a couple of more years. I think now modern is great. You know, modern is like, yeah, modern is great. The only people that complain about it is, uh, I don't know, I guess the one that only owns a deck that loses to elementals, probably. Okay. Let's start with turn one Inquisition of Kozilek. Although this might be burned.
Keisha Tran, does that... Whoa. Okay. It's the Vivian combo deck. Cool. Oh, they revealed Yorian. I didn't even notice. Okay. They revealed Yorian. I should have noticed, but okay. Draw. Let's go Red and Ticks. Get back a land. And pass. They didn't touch standard. Why? Yeah. I don't know. Looked fine at the PT standard. Hmm. I really have any. I don't have anything to do. I mean, I could die, so I guess I'm not sapping out. I'm gonna leave up Volt. Oh, you hold any? Play the spear and pass. Yeah, when you, uh, hello, Chris. How's it going? Okay, I'm going in cycling Jetmir's garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's see. Fourth mana, is that Omnath? I hope it's not, because my removal spell is pretty bad against it. Ooh, a Renegade Rallyer. Okay. It's an alternative art. Hey guys, are you the system? How's it going? Good morning, Raptor. Well, end of turn. I have mana up and they have a creature. That's bolted. It's a two for one, but uh, that's what it is. I'm trying to get Rallier. Not a bad card. I need to draw threats, though. Where are my threats, Bucko Cat? So look at this. Um. Got a shock land, yes, let's go back to this companion and pass with seven cards. The emblem of Ren, of course, is relevant at this point. I have Inquisition and Bolt. Oh Omnath. Hmm, okay, game for life, sure. Next turn, I mean, I have to play Trophy. I can also play Giganta. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, oh, well, now it draws a card. Sorry, gains a life. Fetch. So they're gonna get uh, four mana. Cobalt plus Ren Ping. I know, right? But Ren is about to emblem here. I don't really want it to. I don't. I didn't want. I didn't want. I didn't really want to. Minus her. We'll see. They go for a call and they called for a rallier. No, that's gonna shrink the uh it's gonna shrink the Ren because it's gonna deal them five this is gonna deal Ren five damage. Or four damage. I don't know why I said five. Why did they say five? A untapping draw spell. Thoughtseize. Okay, skiful. Uh, okay, let's play Thoughtseize. Solitude, plain about accomplice. Okay. And then I'm gonna go Bolt, Ping, uh, nothing, just top lane go. If 
drew Dragon's Rage. If I had Dragon's Rage Chandler in my deck, maybe that, that would have been a good card to draw. Why not both end of turn to 3 2? Oh, so I went to play another target. And they drew the Nisa, that's good. They still have that Yorian in Companion Zone, which is much better than my Giganta. <laughs> You sit down, you reveal your two companions, and yours is a literally 8 minus 5, 5 no abilities. Okay, they got Solitude again. Now, I feel like, obviously, this game are gonna lose, this is not even close, but... We just didn't even draw a threat. So... I think. Hmm. Let's just these. You're up. I mean, if I play Giganta, they just play Solitude. And I just drew literally only lands. Like, this game is a little bit tilting. Let's just concede and move on. Turak. A licensed hers might help. It stops the combo. Scavenging booze. Same. What do I want to take out? Maybe Bolt. Bolt doesn't seem great. Alright, Spell Bomb doesn't seem great, Shadow Spirit doesn't seem great. We're not leaving the bomb. The bomb again, as I told you, stops the combo. Never heard of Mango Tilt? No, of course. Of course by Tilt I meant to just just concede and I don't wanna play that game anymore. Yeah, Bolt really sucks against that deck, I think. I'll leave it one. Essence is also good against Ren. Opponent did so little and we lost. <laughs> the anti take solitude with Sotsi is not a dead, yes. But in magic you have the ability to draw the same card again. It's a skill that you develop with the game. Alright, I gotta turn to Ren. Bunch of no ally. How's it going? Thoughts is bug. Well, it was even worse because they drew Oath of Nisa into Solitude, which meant that then they could blink Oath of Nisa with Yorin. Oath of Nisa is really nice, but it's nice only to draw one copy of. This is why I think playing three, it's not a bad idea. I could go Ziatuar's Proving Ground, but I'd rather. Just uh, pick up a basic next turn. I don't have Liliana in my deck, so I don't have to deploy a green. Ooh, you know what? Here, I'm just casting their hearse. Vroom, vroom. Because that way, I'm protected against a turn to... I'm protected against a turn to a random six. I already have a third land, so I don't think I'm in a rush to play a random six. Yeah, don't fetch the mid. Exactly, right? Yeah, I, I mean, this deck is gonna flood out naturally, so I don't wanna fetch the Trium. The hers is nice. No, the PN did my hers. It's okay, that was actually a good bait for Ren. There it is. My porca merda. Okay, okay. Ren, let's get this back. Actually, this is good. This is actually now that I think about it. This is exactly why I didn't fetch it because I wanted to draw it. I mean, obviously I didn't want to draw it, but there's the I left myself the option to draw it, so that it can now cycle. You know? No, okay. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Adios. Two drops. Let's go. Blood crypta. Yorko. Ooh, Tarmogoyf. Okay, first threat in a while. Two mana, two, three, go. Yep, you can bolt it if you want. <laughs> and now I got a bunch of shocks and bolts. Hopefully I don't play it four mana, four, four. I guess if they do, I can... 
double removal, but actually, yeah. Bob nut. Bro. Discard a card to damage. Attack for four. Hello Vdex, you can go to the mission mark deck and I check all the deck lists that I play every day or you can follow my Instagram or Twitter account. There are four, I take four, I mean. Both plus K command is card neutral? I don't think so, I use two cards to achieve the thing that I did with one card. It's card disadvantage. Thank you, PS Seula. I mean, yeah, this card too. Well, they drew a card with this. La solitudine. Red, black again. Do I have foil future sight goif? No, actually, my goifs are uh, very strange. My goifs. Um, I just go goif pass. They are. I'll show them. I'll show them after this game. I don't know. I was in uh, when I bought the my foil goifs. I was in the part of my foiling life where I just wanted to get weird cards, you know? This Jun deck will, uh, of course, be unfavored against the Omnath deck. I mean, it's pretty clear. Guida Karnica. Va bene, dai. Okay. One of the most one-sided game I've played in a while. I'll show you my goals. They're like this. Very strange. This was, I think, I believe this was called Box Topper of Ultimate Master. I don't know, I I guess I found, like, a good deal or whatever, but... I mean, and now, of course, I wish I got the full rush, the not full rush, my guess study, the full future sight, but... But I guess back in the days, I liked them this way. Oh, look what I have in the same... Uh, Page a card that I don't think I've used it in so long. This is also a nice one. Interpretation. All right. How can Jund live in a world with Omnath? Oh, you can't. But you can lie to yourself and believe it's possible. Actually, you know how? Usually, you just lose to the deck and blame Wizards for not banning the cards that you don't play. This is the way Magic player fights not playing decks that aren't in metagame. Hello, Randall. If you hadn't played Paper Modern in years and wanted to buy one deck, what would you buy at the moment? I saw weird questions that order was weird because I just really can't put myself in somebody that hasn't played Modern in a year. I know, well, you played last time. I don't know. I would always play Zed Merc died. Because that's very similar to uh, a legacy and that's fun, but that deck is like also oh, what a thousand year a thousand a thousand year? Okay we got lands and spells, let's go. It's like the people that ask me, if tomorrow you had the PT, what would you play? I don't know, I don't have the PT tomorrow. What would I play? What would I play? 
last was 2014 where you played pod and twin well my opponent previous deck is basically pod and twin it's called vivian combo you should check my youtube channel and find out about it it's also like i don't know 2000 euro probably but uh, that's a combination of pod and twin i think it's i think it's a great deck if I yet to play modern paper or modern big events, I will I will always play Vivian Combo. You could buy for a color, but no, you're not sure you want to. Yeah. Honestly, buying magic cards recently has always proven to be a smart choice, as long as you know you have money laying around doing nothing. Like Instead of putting money in the bank on your uh, investments or whatever, you just buy magic cards. In the past year, it's, it's always been a smart choice. Man, I wish I bought way more better cards than put money in investments. Okay, I put a text to Goblin Guide and sees a Tireless Tracker. Imagine, imagine that. Also, imagine playing Burn and not drawing Goblin Guide in your opening game. Okay, let's go Bloodstained Mire. Pass. I have to bolt the bird, but this is a good matchup. I think I got two Tarmogoyves. Tarmog the the the, the, the uh, plus Urza Saga gets me the Shadow Spear. Do you think Blue Red Merc Tide is playable if they ban iteration in modern? What kind of question is that? That's they never ban iteration in modern. In the next, I don't know. Another tracker, see, vabbè, basta, basta. Why do you play all these trackers? <laughs> what do I have to track? What do I have to track? No, I mean, maybe it'll be an iteration, but that won't happen anytime soon, don't worry. Do you have Cyber Guy for the Vivian Combo deck? Yep, yeah, I am writing it for Channel Fireball Pro. To write a lot of things. A lot of things I have to write. That, Merc Tide, 8 cast. You're going to write a Winota guide? Madonna mia se è alto il volume. Okay, we got a sub by Randil. Woo, thank you, Randil. I appreciate you giving us the sub and by us i mean me Ooh, ragaban hmm babine let's go Ra saga let's dash ragaban let's attack for six and drop another goif you're gonna de play deck in paper soon i think it's an excellent choice in paper because it wins the game fast and it's not like, I've played Vivian Combo for two days in a row on Friday at Four Seasons team event of seven rounds and on Saturday, nine rounds. I never came close to time once. All the games finished rather early. I was afraid to be, you know, drawing a lot with an 80 card deck. You have to practice the shuffling, I think, though. That was, uh, yeah, it's like. If you have spare time, like, I don't know, now, for example, you're not doing anything, just watching me, just get your deck and start shuffling and understand the way you can shuffle 80 cards quickly. Because, oh, another suggestion that I give you is you actually start shuffling a lot during the rounds. Because it's it's a big deal, like, if you end the game with, I don't know, 20 lands, not 20, but, like, between main graveyard and deck 20 lands you don't just amass them at the top and you know like to give a proper shuffling i think it's important yeah let's go ragaban dash attack for 10. oh actually can i blow up my own land here an opponent control that's unlucky. I wish I could have killed my saga. I can't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Shuffling eighty cards in ADH. Yeah, that's true, of course, there's ADH. Let's see if I hit a bolt with this Raga. Please bolt. Boom! Boom! Bolt. Please bolt. Please bolt. Wait, Sodek? Oh, I'm playing against Sodek? I just noticed. I was like owned by Sodek. Cool. All right, that's another, another magic, magic streamer. Yuri Grande wins. Uh, wins. 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 Uh. Bene, 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 bene. Iteration yourself. Mm, I didn't have black mana. Hello, frate. Eh, 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 scavenging booze, collective brutality, take out, thought, seize, ran in six. I mean, Madonna has so much cards to take out. I can probably submit a 40 card deck by sideboard. Maybe you don't double sleeve. So you cannot double sleeve. Although there's a big problem in not double sleeving to me. I'll show you with uh, some cards. Is that if you have a double sleeve, if you have a card sleeved and you like shuffle and a sleeve goes on top of the card, it ruins the card. Like, the angle ruins the card on top of the sleeve. That's always a scare to me. And why I always double sleeve. Plus, your opponent can can do that and also hurt your sleeve. I don't know Sigbold. A bit up. Uh, I really don't know how to sideboard. Mm, two mana, two one. Let's go. Maybe explosives better than two mana, two one. The Japanese triple sleeves, sure. I mean, it's all about practice and also having big hands. Yeah, that's good, let's go. You heard some rumors, blue green. Oh, Ultimate Guard was putting a new line of sleeves soon. Nice. Okay, opponent kept seven, and of course starts with Goblin Guide. Mm hmm. A reveal, Cold Man's Command, that's pretty bad. Okay. I'll go Bloodstained, Mire, and draw. I pass. We'll have Bold for the Guide. I need to draw Tarmogoy, if that, that's the card I need. Mm hmm. Reveal, Mishra's Bubble, mm -hmm. I'll bolt the guide, and they don't have bolt, cool, drop, Ragaban, huh, that's a good card. I think I want to go Saga and pass. Next turn. Shouldn't have Fitch with a trigger to stop in case the mountain is on top. Yes, I forgot. 
Life and guard, uh, let's write uh, not capital lock. I don't like capital lock. Uh, do I want to bolt? No, dive a bit, let's take one damage. I'm afraid of um, Eidolon, so I waited end of turn. Another saga. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Do you have Searing Blaze? Looks like they do. I'm gonna get my Saga Searing Blaze, dear. Hello to Drake Like Spy. Thank you, Drake Like Spy. Welcome to Manga Stream. How's it going? Am I attacking here? Yes, I do. I didn't want to keep because they just have shot a speed. They just have line in certain blades. I think they just have burn. I think I'm gonna lose this game. I didn't want to keep this. The steering blaze was pretty obvious to me. This is the proper way to play burn, in my opinion. Just send back the burn spell and just flame it all in the sequence of a turn. I like it. It just didn't really give me any anything to do because they have bolt for when I keep the construct. I mean, am I going to do so? Sure. Guess I will. Yeah, at least I have to use a removal spell on this instead of me. <laughs> Deflecting palm, okay. I'm a four to have two cards in it. Three, four. One. It's minus two. Yep. All right. Easy. Uh, 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 I think Turak is fine, it's just need creatures. All right, let's go keep. One mouse to six. Do 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 this is why I take out one Ren. This matchup Ren is like not good. When I play for Caller Vivian I took out I take out all the Wrens. But this deck doesn't even have that gets way too many bad cards to take out, so you have to keep some brands. But the rend is really bad against burn. Cause they don't have any creature to die to it, and the, you don't even want to fetch that much. Thank you, Romeo. Okay, let's go. I keep six. I'll go land go.
Goblin guy. Wow, suspend Rift Bolt. Crazy. I don't want to go Charmagoyf as it dies to a Bolt. Do I want to go Scavenging Goose? Yeah, I think I want to go Scavenging Goose. It doesn't die to Bolt. Uh, I played Saga so that next turn, not this one, the new one after, I can gonna get Shadow Spear and put it on the Tarmogoyf. The Rift Bolt face. Uh huh. Okay, so now Tarmogoyf doesn't die to Lightning Bolt anymore because there's a Sorcerer in the graveyard. I just played the Ooze as a Spazkite, basically. I would have played what? Maybe Ren. Definitely not Tarmogoyf. Very happy I draw it. Is it again? This is just a grizzly bear. Hmm. Okay, I'll take that. I drew Swift Spear. I got a 15. Of course, can't block. If they go bolt, they kill it all. They go bolt. Where? Face? Okay. Sweet. Sweet actually, here, draw. Because mm, I could go push the, yeah. Hello, I got a 10 here. And I'll play Tarmogoyf as a 3-4 and then attack. If they attack, I block, because I push up. Push up. Yeah, I mean, as a modern streamer, I know that most of my, most of the time I read comments about the price of cards, which isn't exciting as I try to deliver the best content regardless of the price, but I know that magic is a very expensive hobby and the money has a huge uh, impact when deciding your deck. I mean, all I can tell you is that uh, magic card price usually held the price or even go up. Of course, they're reprinting cards this summer, so if you really wanna wait, you can wait to see what they print in Double Masters 22 and then and decide what to buy. But like, you know, buying a playset of Urza Saga is never going to Make you feel bad. All right, so I go Fatal Push there. They clearly to me have uh, the card, uh, uh, they, they clearly to me they have the card Deflecting Palmyre. Deflecting Palm. Hey, what do we want to do against the Deflecting Palm? I don't want to do anything against the card deflecting palm. Maybe I, I keep the Tarmogoyf. And I only attack with Scamaging Goose. and pass. And now my opponent will have to keep up mana every turn of the game. Smash these meterines on that. I don't even know if I want to fetch. Probably I don't. Serum Blaze is that. Okay. I'll get a five. I 
That was a very nice uh, sequence of cards. My opponent was able to deploy threats on my uh, removal spells and deal me six damage. This is exactly how you win. Shatter's is my bad. There's two cards. Okay, so I attack for six. You got a ten. And then I'll go uh, Ran and Ticks. Ping you. Then I'll play Pirate Spellbomb. My opponent next turn is dead because I deal 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, they bolt me end of turn with one card in hand. <laughs> See if I die. I die. Alright. Um. Mm. If I attack last turn with Tarmogoyf, I would have won, of course. The thing is that I I was very high on life total. I didn't expect to die in so few turns. Because my opponent was able to both kill my creatures and deal me damage. So uh, I think the, the combination of these two was deadly. All right, good match. I'll take a bathroom break. Be back in a sec. All right, don't go anywhere. Okay, let's go. We're going for the classic John 5 0. Musa Zabi, who that's another typical junk player. Maybe black green. Alright, I got a good hand. I'm gonna go turn one over Grunt Tomb, Thought Seas, turn two Saga Tarmogoyf. important that you sequence your cards accordingly here. Okay. I think I'll take a Birds of Paradise and just leave you with a bunch of mediocre creatures. You think Rex's Shadow is still alive? I think there's a Shadow still alive. Whether or not you should buy for Tarmogoy for Ragavan is now my place to decide. Man, I didn't know that streaming modern meant that I was literally a finance guy now, but I guess that's what it is. 
playing modern, it's like, I don't know, being a Bitcoin talker, I guess. Everyone just only talks about money. Okay, I guess they don't care about going stronger, guys. Yeah, Prosperous and Keeper makes sense. Ooh, Renan ticks. Hmm. I was going to make constructs, but I guess I shouldn't. Hey, Mango, should I buy a house in Tenerife? I mean, that sounds like a good place to go. I don't know. Tenerife. Where is it again, Tenerife? Oh, wow, it's in front of Morocco. Cazzo, I didn't know it was that far. Hype Ryan, hello, how's it going? Thank you for the sub. Do you want to ask me if you should buy any cards? I'm here for that. As a poor pioneer enjoyer, yeah, I mean, pioneer, it's basically, it's basically that, right? It's just poor pioneer enjoyer. That's, that's the format. Uh, ta -ta -da. Do I make a token that is just a 2 2? I think so. Yeah. I go get the bomb. Then I go ping the grist. And I also want to shoot the. No, I'm not there. I pass. I don't want to shoot the young wolf. No, that's true, actually. Because okay, they go stronger, guys kill my Ren. No, I think Ren needs to get back my Urza Saga here. I think the Ren getting back Saga is important in this game. Mm, they go attack attack yes i go block okay and kill the young wolf and now they get a three two but my ren hopefully i draw a creature or a removal spell raga ban okay i get back urza sagra i'll play it and i'll play a raga ban I think I'd rather return Giganta than cycling a card. Tell me how. Mm -mm -mm. Is that a Yawgmoth? <gasps> Pog. The Thran Physician is here, chat. The Thran Physician is here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what do you have in your hand, opponent? Hmm. I don't feel very good about this game. In fact, I feel... Pretty bad. A pass. Strong root geist. I need to draw a whisper for Yog Moth. There's not that many, but there's some. Will you attack? My poor Ren. I think my poor Ren is dying. GG Ren. You've done you've done a good work, but it's time to let things go. Is 
Draw, can I draw a spell? No, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Sure. Can I draw a spell? Spell? Can I draw a better spell? No? Okay. Can I get a pithing needle? No? Okay. Pithing needle would be nice here. They have uh, average trouble have six cards in end. Mm-hmm. Could use rent to rebuy saga, but I think at this point I should probably just concede this game. But instead, I'll keep on clicking buttons to prolong the video. Oh, una bella terra. E via. I think it's gonna chat. We got we got the trophy. We got the trophy, so I'm not gonna give up here. I am not giving up here. The spider probably should. Ah! Basta. Basta così. Okay, let's go eat a Zulu. Scavenging ooze. Oh, lessons. Earth. Scavenging ooze. Uh, do, do, do. Mm. 64. Want to take a Ragaban? Yeah, let's take a Ragaban. Pretty weak. The rest of the deck seems alright. Now, come on. I, sh I shouldn't be losing this matchup, right? Maybe, maybe I should. Veil? Mm, not a big Veil fan, no. Is Starmo really good versus their infinite blockers? Yes. Keep, 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 keep. Turn one, Inquisition. Hmm. That's a hand. That is a hand. I think I'll go against mana.
I'll go against their mana and hope they get unlucky. You've been off Jund and on Rakdos? It's possible. It's possible that Rakdos is better than Jund. And it's possible that Grixis is better than Rakdos. But I can't really play the same deck all the time, right? I am a content creator. I need to deliver content on multiple decks. But I will never refrain from giving you my hot takes if a deck is bad or not. Should your deck play in the same deck as Sunset's Trophy, Bolton earns a saga? Probably not. Probably it shouldn't. A few more months till I play Amulet again, right? Why? Do I have a contract? Thank you, the opposer. Wow, you just played that card. Porca merda, mountain! Tio, madonna di Dio. A split inquisition, or I have to flip tonight. Wow, I got crime punishment. Si, vabbè. Destroy charter creatures enchantment. No, opponent will blow up both of my lands next turn. <laughs> GG GG pop, 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 pop. Okay, I pass. I can't even Why don't they draw thoughts? Is why don't they draw exactly three? Uh sage. Sedge. <laughs> oh, bene. Va bene. Adios. Double stone rain. Anzi, double sinkhole. Imagine if I Inquisition first and then played land. Just imagine. I play Merktide every Sunday. Yeah, every Friday. Yeah, Merktide though just is the deck that gives me the highest views on YouTube. Whenever I play Merktide, I got I got a lot of views. Also, Affinity gives me a lot of views. You know what deck literally gave me zero views when I played Yogmoth. When I played Yogmoth, no one wanted to watch it. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. Less than half of other videos wanted to watch Yogmoth. I guess because I always talk so bad about it. Now we're gonna lose to it. Sedge. Double Sedge. Oh, a red source right on time. Nice. Thank you. Yogmoth players are like a cult? Right. You don't see much blue eye control in Mall because it's not good. That's the reason. Sad reason. Okay, chat. It's been a good game. Actually, it wasn't. Let's play the last match for 50 play points. How can you be in a cult in a good way? Mm. I mean, I thought magic was also a cult. Like, we only talk to other magic players. We think that other games suck and our game is the best. We give people, I don't know, thousands and thousands and thousands of euros 
in exchange of piece or cardboard. At least, I don't know, if you're into watch or golf, you buy objects that have worth things in it, not just literally a piece of cardboard. Um, if you sell a watch, the material in the watch must worth something. And sometimes the piece of cardboard that we buy for thousands of euros are so bad printed that you ask yourself, wait, they didn't even know how to cut this border and I'm still bought this car for 50 euro. Yes, you did. Okay, Giganta. Let's go. All right, all right, Chad, this game I win the game. GG. Phantom Limb, you lose. GG. Phantom Limb, it's over. You can go. You can go home now. It's over. You can go home now. Ah, ma che cazzo? At least artworks are good. Eh, some, yeah. Ran and ticks, pick up a land, Yorgo. Let's go, Thoughtseize. Sorry, yeah, no, Inquisition of Kozilek. Bella mano. We've reached the bottom. That's what happens when you win three. Yeah. Mm hmm. Ranger Captain of Yos picks up Thraben Inspectora. L'Inspectora. Do I possess you the flagstone? That's a fun play. I think I want to return Giganta this turn. The gigantic. I don't want to get basic land because my opponent has uh, Filler Ruin. Oh, cazzo. I removed the land. I'm so dumb. I removed the land and the storm goes is a 2 3. Madonna, che coglione, porca merda. Vabbè, così. Poi non lose the game. Alright, no more Rennes Emblem. Tuck. I think I'm gonna get a basic despite my opponent has filled up ruin. And then it's Giganta time. Boom, Giganta. Gigantic. You miss playing paper? Yeah. Do a three? Ranger, okay. 
It's like using a lane to pump Tarmo, boy. <laughs> That's true. That's true. No one would see it coming, right? Hmm. I can trick my opponent next turn into guess into that, I guess. Mario of Sands. Hmm. This for a normal permanence. Oh, and a bella terra. Nice. Let's kill the martyr. You gained six life. I don't want to do anything else. Cycle this. Destroy all Nolan permanents. I think I'll cycle this bomb. Even though it'll shrink my. Oh, I guess it doesn't even shrink my guard. Ooh. So that's his trophy. That's not good. It's physically a position. Mm, he's still in rain me. Okay. No. All ping. Okay. Okay. Let go. Is Yatora Proving Ground the best card in modern? It's an interesting message to write. Welcome, Leviathan. Mm hmm. It's another stone rain, unfortunately. Okay, my lands are about to be over. Buongiorno Juju Bean. How's the holiday going? Let me attack with my gigantic. I'm gonna hold uh, probably just us trophy the ranger. I don't know. He's still playing some offensive fuck about yeah. Mario Sands, uh huh. E okay, so this one I'm gonna get a little last land on my deck. 
That's uh, fetchable land in my deck. I still have plenty of fetch lands. Don't draw a census trophy this. Yeah, right? No, no, I'll just untap and draw. Should probably attack with both here. Oh, wow. That's unexpected. That was unexpected. I think it's time for me to cycle. Oh, this one says no land, right? Oh, good. Why does opponent play this card over Wrath? I mean, the 1 3 bracket. Let's not uh, <laughs> give too much thoughts on the what our opponent deck list card contains. Could have been out of the one three bracket. Hmm. Oh, this is a good land. Not even joking, this is actually a good land. I think I'm going to astrophy it. Lining, bold. Raga, bun. Two, two, two. Pachu. No, okay. Path to exile? Actual, factual path to exile? And yeah, the child. I got nothing. I have to pass the turn back. Depends the day. <laughs> Crazy that it's turn 10 and I haven't really drawn any meaningful threat to this game. Other than one turn with one gigante. Mm, it's one mana, one win. Stalin good. Woohoo! Tire of the Stricker! Would you look at that? Mm, Should have played Tracker first to pump the construct. That was a punto. A punto. <laughs> Go. Fiat punto. Hmm. Captain Ranger of Eos with no cards in hand. Okay. What you got? You got Walking Barista. Oh, Caboya. Walking Barista, you got. Hmm. Okay, that's a 3 3. You are looking my tracker? You do. You succeed. You succeed. Oh, na bella fetch. <sighs> eh, 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 I think I want to kill the, the barista over there. Mm, with a bolt or with a pirate sp nah, Okay, let's crack this clue here. Sorry, constructs. No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to lose my constructs. Could possess you the barista. Yeah, that's true. Could possess you the barista. Could have possess you the barista. I just decided not to. Hmm. I don't know why I decided not to. I should have. 
Could you rather land or gonna write an email to Wizards? <laughs> Wizards will tell you, you are a fool that played that, that, that play this deck. It's not her fault. It's not her fault, we just make the algorithm to shuffle the cards. I think it's time to let this construct spell. Ah, oh, that's huge! That's like the biggest spell I could ever think of. Do I have a three life? Fuck away, if they return the Bahis, they lose, I think. I know it's not good to three life. I'll get a four life, though. Shuffle better, they'll say. At least she can voice. Yeah, no, I should have definitely position the thing. Oh, fatal bush. Seven, two minus seven, eight. Let's go. Let us go. Please appoint a dangerous walking barista. It's clear that this deck doesn't convince you. What did you what did you get there from? <gasps> no, vabbè, no, dai, no, Ranger Dios. Please tell me you don't have a second walking barista in your deck. Please, 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 please. No, che fai? Che fai? Non ci credo. They used Mistville planes to put on the bottom of the deck. Aspetta, 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 aspetta. Aspetta, 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 put the card on the bottom. No, so if I killed this ranger, they wouldn't have been able to. I didn't see this line. I did not see this line. Porca boy, I didn't see this line. If I removed the ranger in response, they wouldn't have been able to do this. Non ci credo. Hello, Mickey Pigs. Thank you. That's okay. It's okay. I can still top deck. Don't you worry, chat. I can still top deck. Inquisition or Thoughtsies. Or, sh or uh, Shadow Spear. Right? They got Cameo False Soap. My pants at the Cameo False Soap. Ma dimme te. Uno può prendere Cameo of the False Soap. Actually, I think I need to kill the Cameo of the False Soap. So that if I draw a Shadow Spear. I can I can gain life. All right. This is the turn where it all happens. Will Mango draw Inquisition, Thoughtseize, or Shadow Sphere? No. Ho perso. I lost. I have been defeated. Madonna mia che vergogna. What a shame. That's okay. That's game one. Mamma mia che vergogna. How did I not draw any threat this game? Opponent punted by no sub king that's captain my upkeep though. That's true. That's true. Man, I didn't play around Mist Veil Plains. Mist Veil Plains. Actually worth a lot of money. I mean I guess before they, they reprinted it. Mist Veil Plains used to be a lot of money. So I remember owning a foil copy and of Shadow Moor, and that was a lot of money back then. Oh, 
Flag of Stone and Martyr. Okay. Draw. Hmm, that's a good draw. I'll go random ticks. Pass. Throbbing Inspectora. Fetchland. Thank you. Let's just get random duels. Do I go trucker? Or do I want to wait? Mm. I think I can go Ragaban, Shadow Spear, and leave a push. Or bolt. I love the new companion change. Yeah, I have so many old commons. I love the new companion change. Man, that was back then when I was a happy person, just giving positive thoughts to Wizards changes. Now I changed. Can I kill a creature? Nah. Maybe I should have. I think I wanna kill this, kill that, boom, bada boom, 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 boom. Much again, bella madre merda. Let's go, Taras Trucker. Let's go, Burden Catacomb. Got a clue. Pull to the Inspectora or push it. I guess I'll push it so I don't have to take a billion damage. Push the Inspectora. Two mana gain nine lives? Mmm, that's a great card, right? Two mana gain nine life. That's like better than Nourish. And Nourish is already one of the best card ever. Wait, what you doing? Oh, <gasps> Ghost Quarter, your own Flag Son of Stroke here? Well, that's a combo if I've seen one. You got Misville Planes in your deck? No, that bad shot. But like, pff, that's just mind blowing. The mind just blows there. Mr. Planes is in play, watch out, eh? Oh, I, I, you know what I wanted to do today? I wanted to cast a Sarah's Ascendant. I asked myself, what should you do today? I want to play a Sarah's Ascendant. Once I play that, my day will be completed. Crogiolo dei Mondi. Okay, Crogiolo dei Mondi is here. Is Sugger best draw? Eh, not really. Our best draw is... Ah, that's actually a pretty good draw. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And... Vroom, vroom. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Vroom, vroom. Hmm. Buena! Do 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 do. Do do. Do 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 do. All right. It's this card of Wrath of God, ninth edition. Oh, too late, Light of Sanctity. Bona. Is Ziggity? Is Ziggity? F6? No, not yet. <laughs> Unlicensed hers! Field of Ruin! Okay. Mm hmm. Ranger Eos, the card that defeated me last game. 
I was defeated by that card last game. As if it is, as if it is 2016 again. No, actually, when this Shards of Alara came out, that's 2008. No, Shards of Alara is what, 2009? Yeah, Shards of Alara is 2009. Fuck, I'm mad, but 2009 is a long time ago, huh? I'll be in it, drop, drop. Okay, let's put the spear here. Let's bolt this guy. Let's put crack a clue. Boosh. How did it lose last game? How did it happen? How did it happen? I have my boss up on a Molly. Stop surviving. Stop surviving. I guess my opponent is surviving last game. No, but porca puta. Basta. Basta. Just die. Just die. Squadron Kekv. That's the name of the card. Squadron Kekv. Attack with this. I I am. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am clicking random buttons. My opponent plays the card Hour of Devastation in their deck. Which means that um, they are able to destroy all my permanents, like literally all of them. And as a result, I think I'm better off in just drawing cards than doing anything else, than deploying. Tower Striker is fun to play, yeah. Someone mentioned the PT Shadows of Arinistrad earlier and Tower Striker was a 4 of in my band company list. I'm gonna go K command, two damage, discard a card. What's my timer looking like? I actually don't have that much time. Is Vivian Combo the real deal? Always has been. Since the first time I played that deck, I, th I thought that deck was better than Elementals or, or Color Mone Pile. That would be my deck of choice. And that was my deck of choice for Friday and Saturday at Four Seasons. The funny thing is that we're going like, oh, opponent doesn't give up, blah, blah, blah. But actually, like, I don't know, they won the previous game similar to this. I mean, I said it in the threats last game, but. 
Yes, there is Ascendant Martyr Sands you got again. Yep. How much damage do I have this turn? Because I can go kill that. Do I have 19 damage this turn, chat? I think I might. Push that. Allora, this is a 6. Sei più 8, 14. Um, più 3, 17. Yeah, I think I got it. I think we got it. Oh, I think we got it. La 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 Hello, Free Wheeling. Yes, the modern deck lists were published. You can go to the Facebook of Four Seasons, maybe Twitter as well, but I definitely posted them on Facebook. All right, last day, last game of this deck. I think I want to actually take out the Discord spells because they have Ley Line. They have lay line. You're rooting for the opponent? All right, goodbye, all good. It's been nice reading your 860 matchup ma messages, but that's the end. Up, I move from Missville Plains, yeah. Okay, we got random ticks and we got a dream. Do you want to play the affinity deck? Yeah, 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 exactly. So I, I will uh, play the affinity deck eventually. Because um, that guy went 8 and 1. I think it was from Greece. The name sounds Greek. Which I didn't even know Greek people were at the tournament. But it's very cool. Vren and Ticks. Do you know what I'll play next today? Yes, I'll play Glimpse Elementals. It's a pretty cool deck. The top 8 of the challenge is really weird. I look forward to play that. You got Marcher of Sands, okay. Tan tan to tan 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 It's nice, yeah, it's a nice deck. Field of Ruin. Four mana? Is that a ranger? It is. I don't have any more Discord spells in my deck, so. You got. So there's Ascendant, a different art. Drop. Carlo Goif. Get forest. I'll push it down. I'll get back land. 
Then I could go Tarmogoyf and Pomp the Ooze. Or I can just make a construct. I think I'll go Tarmogoyf, Pomp the Ooze. I think it's better. Mango mm -mm. plays the archetype he loves to mock the most. That's true. He know me well. Why are you getting your basic? I don't know. You have a lot. Of... I, just, I don't know why I'm getting my basic. I got my basic. Uh, that's fine. I wanted to protect my. Okay, now how do I understand what does my opponent have in end? Probably they have this five card, this four card. Throw a day of judgment, but that's a ranger captain of yours. Okay, pala day of judgment. No chat. Oh my, I used my push on the ranger and now I don't have an answer. To, oh no, I guess I have either Zulgu. Mm. Hello, let's go bubble. Let's go return. Does this destroy Saga? No land for a minute. No. Return Saga. Play Saga. Yep. Play. Play Idazugu. And eat the Martyr of Sands. And attack it for seven. Unfortunately, I'm going to exile my graveyard next turn. So the Red Emblem won't have push in the graveyard. But I think that's fine. Pop the wags out. No! Uh, I think I lose this game. Bono is gonna go a ranger, double Sarah's ascendant. And I guess I can bolt them to make the Sarah's ascendant shrink. Okay, that's good. <sighs> Planes. Ranger. They get walking barista. Okay. Why didn't they get this? A day of judgment in the end. It's weird. Hey, main phase. Idazugu exiles all the graveyard. But I want to respond by bolting something and then exiling it. Nah, it's fine. You can stay there. Uh, okay, that goes to two. That other goes to two. Look at all the sagas that I have. Mm. Now what? I can rent emblem. I think that's a good start. And I can bolt this. Hmm. Then I can uh, play a land. Hunt attack. Well, I think so. I should have not bolted that first, but whatever. I still have active bolt with the retrace. They blocked? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's kind of strange how I'm trying, I'm playing this deck as fast as I can and I'm still behind in time. 
That's important. It's even faster than me. All right, so they cast a, a six six. Well, oh, they played this first. Okay. Yeah, punishing fire. That's <laughs> true. Stars ascended again. Yeah. Sure. A bold face. A bold face end of turn. So this one becomes a one one that I can ping with Ren. I'll make a token. And I'll fetch a dual land. Okay. Got a swamp. It's gonna be a red land because I have the bolts in the graveyard. So one one. Okay, on top of draw flip the Irizugu. Tart Strucker. Okay. Now I can go uh Trucker Ren. Mm, let's go Ren first. Return land just to shoot it. I guess I can also shoot the Pirate Spell Bomb. But I'll attack. With the uh, three, three, and four, five. You chum block and trade. Okay. I guess they have hours of a station here. Oh, they have day of judgment. Oh, wait, Terra's Ascendant became a, t a six, six. How did I miss that? Wait, how did it become this a 6-6? Six, six? Well, you gain life before it dies? No, but bleh. Makes sense. Huh? Makes sense. The rules make sense. I just uh, didn't think about it. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm gonna bolt face. And then block. Hmm. The rules make sense, I just forgot about that. And then you got the of judgment. I don't want to destroy my Urza saga. They forgot to I don't think they forgot to no, they didn't. They 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 that's why they, they blocked. Like Tarmogoyf? It's like that shadow. It's not like Tarmogoyf. It's like that shadow. When you block the other thing that damage, your card will deal one damage, but it will be a 6-6 six, six after. Mm. This one requires seven planes, right? Yeah. Nice cavern of sauce. Um, want to crack a clue? Yeah, let's crack a clue. Ooh, a ragamon dash. Is a, 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 ooh, path to exile. Okay. Shuffle my deck. Man, child, look at my time. Look at the timer that I have. It's five minutes. Alright, time to play fast. My opponent's gonna play an 8 8 walking barista here. No, they play Skyclave Operation first. Ayah, annoying. 
An oing. They still don't have enough planes for the Ameria. There it is. That's my that's my Ren. Play new Ren. Get back Saga. Play Saga. Attack. Pass. And now this will be fast, like constructs are fast. Kill my opponent. I keep you in the end to kill Emeria or walking ballista depends. I still have the bolt, the path to exile the construct. And vabbè, morto anche questo. Two, three soon. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'll celebrate it. I'll celebrate it with my Twitch chat. Make a construct. A block. Get it? Illusion. It's just an illusion. Do 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 illusion. I got back in time, by the way. Thank you, actual study accomplish. I appreciate your message. Mm -hmm. And you pass. All right, let's go. Tap on top. of keep draw. Draw. Elegant command. All right, this is the turn where we finish the game. I mean, I don't actually wings will put us on 26, but it won't be bad. It will not be bad. This is much I can tell you. Bene. Now, let's start with Lightning Bolt. Aspetta invece un attimo. Plus one, get back Saga. Lightning Bolt, the walking barista. Dej. Dej. That's Dej. Okay. Urza Saga. Attack. Per 4 e 4 8. Draw step. Draw step. 18. Draw step. Discard a card, deal two damage. Opponent wrote a message chat. They said Urza Saga Ren is gross. Is very gross. Very grosso. All right, we got fifty play points back. Ed clap. Ed clap. Bene. Bene, bene, bene. 50 play points with Jund is always an achievement. Thank you, Jund.